If you like bacon, you're sure to love my hot bacon dressing. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're visiting the Pennsylvania Dutch country and we're making a hot bacon dressing. Let's get started. So what is a hot bacon dressing? It's exactly that. It's a warm dressing that can be used on salads or vegetables or meats or anything and it's made with bacon. It's sweet and sour and bacony and easy to do. The first thing we're gonna do is we need to cook some bacon. Now I have my favorite cast iron here and I have five strips of thick cut bacon. I'm actually using five because that finishes up the package. You could do four, but four or five. I'm going to start out in a cold pan and we're gonna lay these in. And it's okay if they're a little crowded. We're gonna cook this on a low to medium low heat because we want this bacon to render all of the drippings and get nice and crispy, but we don't wanna rush it. You know, when you have a screaming hot pan and you throw the bacon in and it's dramatic and it sizzles, but then it sears and it doesn't render all of its flavor. And that's what we want. We want those bacon drippings. So into our pan, let's get the fire going. Medium low. This is gonna take a few minutes, so be patient. It will start sizzling on its own. And then you're gonna listen. When the sizzle starts to die down, that's when you turn it over. You're probably gonna have to turn it a few times. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. I put my little splatter guard on. My bacon is rendering more than enough dripping, so I'm gonna cut the heat and we're gonna pull the bacon out. We're gonna save it and we're gonna do something with it later. Now this bacon will continue to cook even though it's out of the pan because of carryover cooking. I always tell you about that. So we're just gonna put this back here. We're gonna let it rest. It's done its job for now. Okay, now we've cut the heat on this. So now it's time to start building this vinaigrette. First thing I need I need my little pitcher here. And we're gonna add some ingredients to this. We're gonna start off with apple cider vinegar. Just two ounces or 60 mils. You can use white vinegar, you can use red wine, but I prefer the apple cider with the bacon. Next is water, of all things. Same amount, two ounces, 60 mils of water right in. Our next ingredient is an egg. Now I've just beaten this up. It's just one egg. I'm going to pour this in and then we're going to beat this up and mix it all well to combine it together. Just like that. That's all it takes. All right, now into our warm pan, we're gonna add the next layer of flavor, and that is granulated sugar. I have four ounces, or about 112 grams. Now I'm gonna pour this into the warm drippings, and we're gonna mix it up, and it's gonna soak up some of these drippings, because we're gonna be adding liquid to this, and we don't want to splatter. So give this a stir almost like making a roux. Now, this vinegar and egg mixture and water all goes right in. I'm gonna stir it up. Mix it well, get all those little bacon bits off the bottom of the pan. And that's it. Now, what happens here Mixing the egg with the water and the vinegar keeps it from completely scrambling when you put it in the warm pan. 
<laughs> the egg will cook and it will kill anything if you're worried about salmonella or anything, but it's gonna emulsify it and thicken it just slightly. Now remember, this is like a vinaigrette. It's not gravy. Now remember, I told you we're gonna do something with that bacon. I'm gonna take a couple slices here. And we're just going to chop it finely. And it's crispy, so it crumbles up nicely. Just run your knife through it. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it back in the dressing. That's going to reinforce that bacon flavor. Now let's give it a stir. Looks pretty good to me. Now, what would you serve this with? You can serve this over a, a salad, like a spinach salad would be great. It's beautiful over Brussels sprouts, potatoes, green beans, broccoli, anything like that. Now let's give this a little taste. I have some salad greens here. And of course I have my wine. I like to test vinaigrettes with the green that I'm gonna put them on because that tells me what it will be like when I eat my salad or whatever vegetable I'm having. So we'll just give a quick little taste. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I need another one. This is how good it is. Wow. Mm hmm This is sweet, it's sour, it's silky, it's bacony, it's smoky, it's unctuous. Now, I want to serve this immediately, but you can, if you want, make it in advance, store it in the fridge, and guess what? You can microwave it and it will come out just like this. You may need to give it another whisk, but it's microwaves beautifully to reheat it. I need to kind of wash this down. Mm. All right, as always, we will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for basic skills or cocktails, and every other Sunday for our live streams. So while I go, pour this over some lovely vegetables and devour them, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. Until next time, everyone, thanks for joining. Cheers. <laughs>